Might about time, several things here, let's get stuck into it. As usual, there'll be links down below for things which I can give you links for. We've got some big resistors, I think there's a 2 watt resistors, metal film. What's that, green, blue, black? Green, blue, black, gold, brown, is it? I can't see. Got it out of the packet, you can see it a bit better now. So it's a, uh, say, green, blue, black, gold, and something else. But it's a 56 ohm resistor. Velcro. Just some Velcro. This is self adhesive stuff. I need to do this for a project that I'm doing where I have these um, units, which I think I may have shown in videos before, where I built a thing and this needs to actually be self adhesive and stuck on so I can remove it when I need to. I need to actually reprogram these things or work on them. I can take them off the board. So I've got this PCB. No. For Quack. God's sake. Velcro. I've got this plexiglass panel which has got a keyboard mount in it, which I've shown the keyboards on here before. And I've got a little electrical box which goes in the end of it as well, which it's all plugged into, and it's got a controller or anything built in that box, and that box needs to be Velcro onto the PCB. No. Anyway, I need this for a project. So I can stick things down with it. We took a while to arrive. No. It's only about three months. Oh yes, smokers had these before. You can smell it. That's disgusting. Anyway, takes a couple of triple A's. Now Julian Elette's shown these on his channel, which is why I got them. Because these little buttons, and you can record your own message into them, and then you hit the button and it plays it back. Thought we could do something with them. Subscribe. How many more packets can I put these things in? 4 gigabyte USB flash drives. Two of those. Mm. Not too exciting. All coming at once. These are small little flash drives. These ones I think also four gigabytes. I'd used some recently, I need to restock. Plus I seem to keep losing them, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I should tidy my desk up. Right. So this is a 2 terabyte SSD for my Mac Pro 2013. Got a cable, USB 3 cable, Allen key, little heatsink, screw, some heatsink pads and some instructions in here. This little drive enclosure, so you can put the original drive into this. So, or vice versa I suppose, you probably put this one here, copy the data over and then swap them. Um, which means your original drive isn't wasted, you can put it as an external drive and uh, use it that, or you can just plug this one as an external drive. So obviously this is USB 3, nice and fast, fast enough anyway. And I just need this for my Mac Pro because I've got a 1 terabyte drive in there right now, which original SSD, which is, you know, fairly sizable. But when I'm doing video stuff, it can disappear quite quickly, especially when it's doing um, snapshots, because Mac does snapshots and it stores things for a short period of time before it will actually get rid of them. And when I'm doing videos, my video cache and stuff like that from Resolve can be quite big. I can easily lose 80 gigabytes doing a video or two, really easily, and it just disappears. So, And I'm already running close to that maximum. I'm already sort of sitting around 150 gigabytes free to 200 gigabytes free if I'm lucky on a good day. It's a bit small, so I've got a bigger one. This is from OWC. Not a cheap thing, but um, necessary. USB hub. This one's got 
a power supply and stuff you use with it, which hopefully is the right fittings on it. It does, it's got the right one, brilliant. And a uh, USB C to 3 cable. So that's PC side, power supply side over here. So it's basically a 8 port hub, one that's got power delivery on it. Any idea of this is that I can use this for Mac Pro because my Mac Pro's got limited USB ports and I've got loads of these hubs on the back of it. I've got two which this one can actually replace. This one unit can replace two of them. A lot of it's not high speed stuff, it's like microphone or webcam and stuff like that, which aren't using that much data bandwidth. And having a decent branded hub like this, I mean, all kinds of things be alright, I've had no problems with the ones I've had before. So, I did actually have another one of these, like matching to this, exactly the same style, which was the SD card version, which I showed maybe the last mailbag or one before, I'm quite sure, that sits on this nicely like this. So this can sit behind my Mac Pro and I'm going to plug all these cables in like this and that should be a bit tidier, so having this spider web of mess spaghetti of all these cables in the back hopefully being like this a nice straight line like this and orderly it'll be a bit tidy around the back there and being a powered hub means it shouldn't have any restrictions the other ones currently aren't powered last thing subscribe So, we've got some 3D printing filament. Just make sure we've got the right stuff. It should be 1.75mm. Uh, yes, it is. That's like a beigey colour. Thought it might be good for making replacement parts for bits of gear, maybe. You know, being that colour. Being a beige. This is PLA Plus. I haven't used PLA Plus before, but it's basically like PLA, but a bit stronger. And I thought I'd give some a go. I haven't actually used this, this company before either. This is from a place called Bits Robots, which is actually a New Zealand company. And I got put into those by Rob from Tapaki Technologies because he went to the Emacs show and he mentioned it or gave me a, sent me a picture or something like that. So I thought I'd give him a go. Get some locally instead of from China. All the other fin ones I've got have come from China, from AliExpress. So you, you never quite know what the quality is really like. And I'm thinking that some of my print issues I have with trying to tune the things has been because of the quality of the filament. I'm not entirely sure, but it's likely. But, uh, a black one here, also PLA Plus, and... It's always a capacitor. Well, I'm going to push that. <laughs> and some grey as well. So, these are colours I use quite often. So I've got to get some ESUN stuff. Um, give me some feedback down below in the comments about if you've used ESUN filament, what you've, how you found it, how you find PLA Plus, that kind of thing. A bit of information would be nice. But... Uh, that should be fine, it can't be any worse than older using, surely. Right, check out the other videos down below, subscribe over there, page or support link over there if you want to help support the channel, help me to buy better quality filament. Subscribe.